गुड इवनिंग नाइ गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट कम्युनिकेबल डिसीजेस सी व्हाट आर द कम्युनिकेबल डिसीजेस द कम्युनिकेबल डिसीजेस स्प्रेड फ्रॉम वन पर्सन टू अनदर पर्सन बाय ऑर्गेनिजम्स लाइक पैथोजेंस लाइक पैथोजेंस मींस बैक्टीरिया by bacteria viruses and fungus by these pathogens the, the uh, disease will be spreading from one person to another person called those are called as communicable diseases for best examples of communicable diseases are tuberculosis tuberculosis influenza influenza hepatitis measles etc see when we are talking about communicable disease and we also will talk about non communicable diseases non communicable diseases are will never spread from one person to another person those are called as non communicable diseases non communicable diseases example non communicable diseases these diseases are like a hypertension means uh in cardiovascular disorders cardiac disorders and central nervous disorders central nervous system disorders and skeletal disorders these are the systematic disorders which will not be spreading from one person to another person now i'm going to discuss about one of the communicable disease called as uh, tuberculosis now i'm going to discuss about the disease called as tuberculosis what is the causative agent for the tuberculosis the mycobacterium tuberculosis mycobacterium tuberculosis this is the causative bacteria see in competitive exams they'll be asking you the question uh, disease and they'll be giving you options it's a by either it is a Uh, fungal disease either it is a bacterial disease uh, either it is a viral disease see you need to know whether this uh, disease regarding uh, this is a bacterial disease or a viral disease specifically you need to know this uh, criteria so by tuberculosis is a bacterial disease so you just remember this is a particularly mycobacterium tuberculosis is a bacteria so tuberculosis is a Ba bacterial disease what happens what is the causative organ causative organism is what mycobacterium tuberculosis mode of transmission how the transmission occurs mode of transmission i'm going i'm talking about tuberculosis mode of transmission is droplet to the droplet infection to the do droplet infection means when the person who, which is the who is the person already infected with the tuberculosis when he sneezes or when he coughs that mycobacterium tuberculosis will enter into that particular air that where who is the person who is non infected that person when when he is inhaling that um, infected air the pathogens or bacteria will enter in, through the nostrils it will enter into the lungs particularly in the lungs it will go into the alveolar sac so these are our lungs in lungs will be having alveolar sacs these are alveolar sacs this mycobacterium tuberculosis will be in rod shaped this will be uh, directly enter into it, it, it will directly enter through the alveolar sac what happens by entering entrance of alveolar sac i'll tell you why why the mycobacterium tuberculosis will directly enter to the alveolar sac why because gases exchange occurs in the place alveolar in the alveolar sac in our lungs in the alveolar sac in the alveoli gases exchange occurs gases exchange it converts the uh, carbon dioxide into oxygen so 
the gases ex uh, exchange will occur in the place alveoli alveolars are that is the reason for mycobacterium tuberculosis for tb mycobacterium tuberculosis is the causative organism this mycobacterium tuberculosis will go to the alveolar sac why it is going means for this mycobacterium tuberculosis for that uh, bacteria for living for that living it needed oxygen that is the reason it will be stay in alveolar sac okay uh, one antigen one bacteria that is mycobacterium tuberculosis entered into our body what is our immediate, immediate our body in body immune system should respond immediately see our body immune system will re respond and it will do elimination retention first step it wanted to eliminate eliminate the bacteria and second what if if elimination does not occur it will do the retention if retention also not occur so then retention means it suppress that uh, bacteria then and there it won't show that side effects or its effects on our body so that it compresses the bacteria our immune system compress in this second in this stage our uh, immune system will suppress the bacteria in retention uh, so if our immune system is weak uh, it it's not able to uh, act with the, or fight with this bacteria so or it will be active form of infection in this first case uh, immune system is very very good so it eliminated the bacteria in second case uh, it suppressed the bacteria and in third case our immune system is not good so active infection means the person will affect Im immediately see when the mycobacterium tuberculosis mycobacterium tuberculosis enter into the body what happens body immediate defense defense mechanism will activate in in this case our uh, t cells will not produce immediately uh, uh, that uh, police uh, defense system means uh, actually in our body if an antigen is uh, attacking uh, or antigen is entering to our body what, what uh, immediate response the antibody cell produce now in this uh, tuberculosis when the tuberculosis enter into body first defense system is uh, macrophages this macrophages where the myco mycobacteria entered see in the lungs it enter into the alveolar sac in the alveolar sac for the defense system macrophages will be present these macrophages after immediately uh, uh, knowing that bacteria entered into the alveolar sac these macrophages will produce as a interleukin 12 this interleukin 12 activate the t cells this T, T cells produces the TH1 cells and this TH1 cells produces interferon gamma. This interferon gamma activated macrophages. This, uh, these macrophages which, we, which are present in the alveolar sac, what they will do means they will engulf the bacteria. Means they will eat the bacteria. Then they will do the phagocytosis. By my, what happens when the bacteria, when this mycobacterium tuberculosis enter into this uh, by, by captured by mycobacterium tuberculosis captured by this this macrophages these macrophages after engulfment of this mac, uh, this uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis what happens means in this macrophages itself by one two day two days uh, by every two days this my, this mycobacterium tuberculosis will get replicated replication means uh, means it will double in number so by two days uh, by two days for every two, two days it will get uh, replicated in macrophages so actually what happens means in the macrophages lysosomes will be present in actually lysosomes will be present in macrophages this lysosomes what they will do means they will be uh, engulfed with this uh, bacteria then they will do uh, they will form like phagolysosomes and they will kill but in particularly in uh, tuberculosis lysosomes can, can't able to engulf the bacteria here so that is the reason they, these will be um, replicated in number so what uh, what these uh, macrophages 
will do means these macrophages will uh, will send these uh, mycobacterium to the lymph nodes there this lymph nodes what will do the means they will neutralize the these will neutralize this infection or bacteria so here the neutralization occur the or uh, this microbacterium tubercle will not show its effects so what happens means it won't show any effect